G'day, Palms and Weather fans. Big storm on the 1st of November on the Friday. Pretty much caught everybody out. Let's show you what I found. Got the time lapse here from brisbanestormchasers.com.au uh, starting just after 2 o'clock. Uh, watching it build. And then it shoots out the side and dumps a whole lot of rain. Broke my wind gauge too. Also a howl uh, fell. Um, mainly in Bakewell I believe. Because um, if you see that cloud it shoots over to this side and Bakewell is basically over this side here with Molden and Grey here uh, and Durak on this side where the pointer is. Okay here we got the radar from BOM this is courtesy of the weather chaser uh, we'll play this through uh, starting here at 12.30 p.m. Uh, lightning starts in this area around 2.10 as it uh, gets closer but it builds quite quickly as you saw from the time lapse and then moves out quickly as well and that's it okay here we have the bomb radar again but this is the Doppler radar uh, this shows wind speeds where blue is towards the radar and uh, yellow through to red is away from the radar the darker the color obviously the faster it goes so let's play that through now you'll notice it moves, it's moving the wind away and then it shoots through and as it moves from the radar which is center screen it goes orange so again if we watch that play through it'll go a bit dark blue because it is very close to the radar and then spits out across the harbor now in saying that I'll just pause on a bit for you you'll notice that it hooks a lot right around now these are signatures that they look for uh, over in America in Tornado Alley uh, mainly in the rain radars but also can be seen here in the Doppler, ra Doppler radar as well um, showing a lot of spin okay so basically here to the southeast of Palmston and as it comes through would have created and it does the opposite is here as well so it was spinning that way and now it's spinning this way the opposite so it seems to me that the south end of Palmson would have copped it to more, the most and, and that's exactly how it ended up being and then of course it sprinted across the harbour very very fast there that, was, that looks about uh, 90 k's an hour to me as it goes just south of Mandora all done uh, this is my weather station software here showing yesterday I received 17.2 mil um, recorded a maximum gust here of 49.9 k's an hour uh, if you don't know already it actually broke um, at, the back of ha at the back of the house it blew the pole over uh, ripping a roof screw there's three roof screws that hold it on rip one out of the fascia and the other two held but bent the whole fascia over with the pole and all the instruments at the top of the pole smashed into my solar system uh, and some pieces were sent from the back of the house where it was over into the front driveway uh, let's see what um, the rest of Darwin got this is the rain readings here I say the Chase 20 and Stokes Hill 20 as well so uh, remembering that radar there it you could see it all coming across just like in the time lapse now one other thing I can show is the lightning as well so there's the lightning shot uh, showing all the, the strikes um, totaling 900 and 908 there okay uh, a few of you are nice enough to send in some photos of um, how you saw the effects of the storm um, this one here uh, sent in to me um, that's showing a bit of a carport just um, bent around a bit sorry I haven't added a description to that um, and of course a lot of trees down as well uh, from Kimberly Jane Mobs um, now there was a, a guard railing here and a fridge up here and it's totally trashed it it's actually blown the fridge off and this is on a, a two-story house and smashed through there and it's landed the fridge on the floor and it's now it's not a little bar fridge either it's um, a decent size I can I think you could fit a fair bit of nice uh, beer in that one and down at the parks in Rosebury this is from Michelle Bain thank you very much 
and made a mess of that too. Well, thank you very much, uh, and I'll just show you some footage that I captured as well. Okay, 3.18 p.m. on Friday. Friday the 1st of November, and that's a nice black Commodore. Um, the storm's been going since 2.10, but the lightning is really starting to pick up. And there's, this is uh, facing east towards Humpty Doo. The rain's, there we go, rain's really picking up now too. But the lightning, there's been a lot of cloud to ground strikes. And getting very gusty. And that, there's a bird up there and it's just not caving in the rain at all. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very sheltered here. I don't know if you're going to see much. Oh, this should have been a... Oh, this is very gusty indeed. Lightning seems to have eased off. There's found to be another strike though, but it has eased off a little. Much bigger gap than I would have expected. Shit. And that was my wind gauge flying off the roof. Lovely. Whoa! Whoa, that's pretty severe! Alright, just wrapping up here, um, interesting to note that the high temperature that I set yesterday, 36.5, was only 0.2 degrees off my November high record, and then just uh, only two hours later, it reached 21.9, which actually set my lowest November temperature record. Alright, that's it from Palmerston Weather, I'm Michael Holiday, and I approve this message.